<laughs> Welcome back everybody, it is Squabble here and today we're going to be talking about how you can win yourself a few more matches in Clash Royale with a few of these tips that I have put together for your safety yeah, probably not your safety, but for your smashing achievements well yeah, we're going to go ahead and I'm just going to assume that you guys have a basic knowledge of this game and know how the game works, know how the troops work and just all around have played it a little bit so the first rule you are going to want to know is don't stay at 10 Alexa staying at 10 Alexa is good because obviously you are waiting for them to make the move and you're going to counter that but you don't want to be sitting at 10 Alexa for too long because you could just drop a troop, rise back up to 10 Alexa whilst they're still sitting at 10 Alexa. So you already have the upper hand there by having troops out and 10 Alexa waiting for them to throw in their counter and re-counter their counter. Counter, counter, counter. So the second tip I have for you guys is to play on your side of the arena. Playing on your side of the arena is good because you will have the arena towers helping you out destroying their troops as your troops are taking out their troops together so they work as a team sort of thing if obviously you know what I mean by that but yeah that is just really good because that doesn't cost Alexa to use those arena towers they're just there and yeah so the third tip is to look over all the cards memorize how much they cost how much damage they averagely do. You don't exactly have to remember how much damage they do because obviously people will have different level cards than you, but it won't be much of a difference, say, from a level 7 card to a level 8 card. And if you just know how much the Alexa costs, that means you know how much they have just used and how much they should have. So that can always be a really big upper hand if you know they've just dropped out, say, a giant skeleton, then a mini P.E.K.K.A. They'll be sitting at zero Alexa, and you can counter that with something and push on the opposite side, or just go a complete counter push, and hopefully you get that crown. Now the tip number four is to always keep a mixed deck of troops, such as always have a tank, a splash damage card, a flying troop, a defense even a spell because having just all troops that do ground damage is not going to be good if they chuck a baby dragon on you because obviously none of them can hit it so if they chuck in a baby dragon you can counter that with a baby dragon itself or a wizard or even just a Tesla and yeah you can always have options to counter that's what I'm trying to say there so tip number five is to take a little bit of damage. Not a lot, obviously no one likes taking damage in the game, but if they just have, say, spear goblins or a wizard or just a musketeer on your arena tower, it's not gonna do that much damage to actually hurt you. Don't waste a little bit of elixir just to take that out even though your arena tower will take it out. Take that damage and save your Alexa for your next push or their next push to counter it again. So the next tip is to watch TV Royale. Obviously TV Royale is all of the top gamers on Clash Royale. They obviously know what they're doing so you can go watch over a few matches and get a little bit of tips for yourself. Watch how they win, watch when they push, watch how they counter and even look at their decks. Because <laughs> then you could get a little bit of an idea on high level gameplay. Obviously, you won't be a high level gameplay if you're watching the TV Royale. If you're in TV Royale, good stuff. And the last but not least tip is to remember what troops your opponent has. Because if you can remember what troops they have and what they're putting out to counter you, you can then re counter that. So, say if they're chucking goblin barrels over. They'll just straight you can just straight away arrows that, but then if you put in your giant and then say they counter that with a Tesla, you know they'll have a Tesla, so every time you drop your giant, they'll put the Tesla down. So what you can do is if they drop their Tesla, you haven't dropped your giant left yet, 
then you can quickly take out that Tesla, then chuck in your giant, so the giant will just go straight to their tower without getting mixed up and going towards the Tesla, and you should be able to get your giant straight to that tower and at least get a little bit of hit points out or even get that crown. So that's it for the seven tips of Clash Royale on how to win a few more matches. I hope they help you out and if they do, please give this video a like, comment your thoughts and subscribe for more Clash Royale content. And yeah, peace out, happy clashing. I hope these tips help you out.